Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Victor and I help people navigate through their ascension process. And this video is going to be a full moon lunar eclipse energy update. And for a lot of you who don't know what that is, this is something I used to do in my earlier videos where I just sort of share my intuitive perceptions on the characteristics of the present energies. And I stopped doing this for quite a while because my personally, I would rather you do this yourself. What I do is nothing magical, it's nothing special at all. It's just me tapping into what I can perceive and you all have the ability to do this for yourself much better because you're you and you know yourself and you'll be more accurate. But this is something I would, this sort of type of video I used to watch a lot and it did help me and I've been getting a lot of requests to do do them. And because I feel we're going through a massive <laughs> acceleration right now, which I bet most of you can feel, it feels appropriate for me at this point to share about it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna break this down, these energies down into about five different uh, themes or, or care categories, if you will. And I'll get into that right now. So I don't know too much about astrology, certainly not enough to uh, to really talk about it in depth in this video, but I do know it's a Leo full moon. And Leo is a fire sign, and fire is, uh, is uh, represents spirit. Just a ferocious, uninhibited, strong, powerful, life-altering energy of spirit. Spirit. Spirit works in very mysterious ways. And that is certainly, that, that's, uh, I always find astrology to be spot on personally. <laughs> um, and that's kind of what we're dealing with. We're dealing with spirit energy. A, a big amount, a much greater amount of your soul, of the divine, the divine energy is now trying to like um, inhabit you. And it's trying to force you to be a more clear conduit in all ways. And the way this is experienced is with a lot of the stuff in your body, your emotions, your thoughts, your concepts, your life that are not in alignment with this influx of energy. They start to get real shaky and they start to get real rocky. And a lot of things that seem sort of uh, at a stasis and secure in your life might start malfunctioning and breaking down and being affected. And you're like, what the... What the hell is going on with me? And then all these uh, these crazy emotions are surfacing and your thoughts are racing and, and you can't really keep track of your life too much. That's because there's a lot of spirit energy now inundating your vessel, causing this temporary chaos. But this always will lead to you yielding inevitably to this new energy, as foreign as it might be, as and it might be bringing you into directions you never would have foreseen. And yet, when you finally let go into it, it will reveal to you exactly why all these things happened the way they did. Because they were in the way of you ex being more of a clear embodiment of your true self. More aligned with a life reflection that is far more in your preference. And is trying to help you. It's trying to give you that push. So now we'll get into those themes I was talking about. Number one is anytime we go through this acceleration, and it is an acceleration, the, the awakening, your awakening, the ascension process in and of itself, is it's fast paced as it is. But sometimes when the stars align, so to speak, it can make things, it ramp things up even more, even faster than we're used to. And that's when you tend to get some of like the, the fatigue and the ascension symptoms and like the ringing in the ears and the lethargy and the insomnia and your emotions feel right at the surface. A lot of uh, your, your thoughts are really racing and it's just a, it's like an ego. Um, the ego is being challenged by this energy of consciousness and the experience of it is a little bit chaotic, a little bit nutty. So if that's happening to you, that's okay because just reflect on this cycle, which you've already been through many times, even if you're new to this, your life, I guarantee, has done this, where there's been a breakdown, things not working, your your resistance and reaction to it, and then inevitably, 
you just look back and you're in a different place in your life and it's a lot better and you see now why it kind of made sense for all those things to transpire in the way they did so that again number one is more about the the symptoms of this sort of experience are very ascension symptomatic so just if you're feeling a little bit run down or something that's okay today I was at the gym and I was bench pressing and my wrist kind of buckled and my wrist has been really bugging me and uh, I felt I've been feeling kind of drained myself. There's a lot, a lot of change going on in my life. And I, at the same time, when this is all happening, I'm not, I have not been sleeping. I've been waking up early, like real early in the middle of the night kind of, and then just I'm awake thinking about my dreams. And that's happened several nights in a row. But that's okay because I know just a chill when this happens, and you should too because these, these cycles come and go. They stress us out a little bit, but they always eventually lead us to a much better place. Number two is you might find that you're having a lot of uh, strong, uncomfortable emotions coming up for you. And you're probably having them reflected in synchronicity and life events. There's a lot of synchronicity that are trying to kind of get you to look deeper into these emotions, which you probably are naturally finding yourself wanting to resist because, again, they're uncomfortable. And... The way I see it, this is just one way to describe it. I'm not saying this is empirically what's actually happening. This is just the way I frame it and look at it. It seems to me that a lot of us, almost everybody really, has inherited the karmic, uh, the karmic load of our, an of our physical ancestry. Like my parents have issues karmic issues and their parents have had karmic issues and they got those from their grandparents and whatnot and it sort of trickled down and even though I don't always feel like I'm from their soul family I did choose to come and in in our incarnate with my physical family and there is that residual karmic influence on me and when you're awakening when you're a light worker star seed type dude you can start to become hip to this a lot of the emotions that might be coming up aren't really yours they were attitudes and emotional states that you just sort of absorbed because we're all very much more open than we can really consciously realize. And again, because especially as a young child, you're very open and you just learn to mimic whoever's around you. And your, again, your parents have a collection of karmic baggage that stems through the ages and you absorb that. And, and because you're so young at the time, you carry it through your life. But now you're waking up to this. You're like, oh, I don't like that. You're becoming aware of these bubbling up emotions. And with that emotions, you can sometimes even perceive like you're heading in a direction that has outcomes that you don't prefer that are, t that are tied to these emotions. And it's this struggle to figure out the origin of these emotions. And as you do, that's how you break this uh, karmic trajectory you're in but initially it can be a little chaotic because again you become aware of these uncomfortable emotions you can you become aware that they're manifesting in your life and you can sense that it's it's pulling you in a in a direction that is not preferable to you that has outcomes that that are very undesirable to you but just trust that as this is happening you're going to gain enough clarity to like rid and unburden yourself of this this karmic influence, you could say, in plenty of time before these like these uh these these like uh, tragic outcomes that you might be like getting inclinations that are in your in your path before they ever happen. You're you're gonna get plenty of notice. I know that sounds kind of weird, but what you want to do is again when these emotions come up that you don't like that are mirrored mirrored in your life with weird synchronicity. Always just keep asking why. Why are they here? Why am I putting them here? And a lot of times you might find that, oh, huh, these aren't really my emotions. Either I was taught to feel this way by my parents because of something they said, or they felt that way and now I just feel that way too, but it makes no sense. You're, you're waking up to too much. Your higher self is too on board and can see this as not you, as foreign. And that's why this is happening. And it's a great thing. It's because you're moving into a new phase of your life that is much more in alignment with who you are. And these, these emotions that aren't even yours have no business being there. And therefore, they're coming up so you can see them and then, and then let them go. Thirdly, 
you might feel that life is pushing you around like it's having like it's uh life is unfolding in a way where you don't feel as much in control as you did maybe you had these structures in your life like a job or or whatever that you really did not expect to to be on its way out yet and all of a sudden it's just breaking down and that can cause a lot of feeling of instability and insecurity because you're not ready to let go of this thing and now it's just sort of being ripped away from you and then you kind of sense that and you just don't feel ready you don't feel like there's an alternative and that can be kind of stressful that's the energy of spirit it's going to break down destroy all that's in your life not all at once but eventually what's in your life that is not really representative of what you want out of life. Maybe you have a job and you lose your job and yeah, that sucks and it's scary and you don't have an income right now, but there's a better job that's more in alignment, more preferable to you that is there, but as long as you cling to this other job, you'll never see that. And the way spirit works, it'll break this down first, allow you to sit there and fret a little bit and always in the right perfect design, uh, uh, divine sync, in sync timing, you will get that alternative. And you'll say, oh, damn, that was close. Wow. Woo. And the more that happens, the more you start to trust when these things, whenever something's really trying to exit my life, something's really just not working, no matter what I'm doing, I'm forcing it, I'm giving it my all. And it's just like, it seems like an excessive amount of challenges and it, Sometimes I'll, I'm more quick now to kind of step back and look at that and think, hmm, is this trying to leave my life? And if that's the case, if I suspect that, I'll let it go. And I'll allow myself to be in that rocky uncertainty for a little while because I know it's always replaced with something better. Number four this is a theme I'm just noticing in, in people's interactions is that it's becoming more essential to accept other people, to accept other belief systems, other perspectives, other religions, other cultures, other states of minds, other opinions, because it's becoming, we're becoming more hip to the energetic exchange when our mind battle, our mind ego battles with another mind ego definition in, 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 an, in an attempt to uphold our definition as the only true way of seeing things. And we see another person who has an alternative perspective that opposes us and we want to change their minds as a way of allowing us to remain in that illusion of security because our definition is the truth. What, I, what I'm saying, that's a confusing way of saying, you just might find yourself triggered, emotionally triggered by perspectives out there in the world that go against your own. And unless you are willing to just let go and accept, you'll find yourself in these ego battles of very uncomfortable negative energy that never lead anywhere. And lastly, this just seems to be a time with this eclipse of, of big endings and big beginnings. But that doesn't always necessarily mean that that's like a, an ending and a beginning are both sort of in a transitional period. And I'll give you an example. We are, I'm in a new RV right now. We just sold our old one yesterday and I'm in this new one. This is a grand manifestation. Interestingly enough, around the same time of this uh, eclipse and whatnot, and it's so awesome, we're so happy, but even though it's a new thing, we're far from settled. We're not really grounded in this new thing and it's causing a lot of stress and instability and it's a mess and we're disorganized and everyone's sort of tired and run down with all this extra stuff in our life. So though it's a beginning, it's not quite yet there. I trust we'll settle in within the next three or four days. But this energy right now is like the, the very first inclination of that beginning. And you might find the same thing as well in a new relationship or a new job. You, maybe you wanted a new job and you finally got it and you're so happy. It's going to bump up your pay. It's less hours. You get to work with really cool people. But then you go on your first day, which might be today, and it's like, oh my goodness. 
I don't really know how to do any of this stuff. And then there's that like, you have to relearn everything. Everything is different. The coffee maker is not over here, it's over there. And, you, and you're and you finding yourself really struggling mentally to, like, to learn all these new things you have to now perform at your job and the different people and the dynamic of everybody's, everything's different. And yeah, it's a good thing. Yeah, you're happy. Yeah, it's a new beginning, but you're not quite settled in yet. But that's okay. That's just sort of how things work here in 3D. Things are slow and things take some time. But within a few days as you go through and you sort of iron out the kinks, then you'll find yourself maybe a week from now saying, ah, yes, oh wow, this is much better, much lighter, much more ideal. So if you don't feel that way now, that's okay. That's not really the nature of this type of fiery energy. This is the energy of transition. And on the other hand, it might be the same thing. It might be endings. You might have things ending, being ripped out of your life, and you don't know, and then you're left again with that uncertainty and insecurity, and you don't know why it's been ripped out, why it's not working. There's nothing new quite yet, but maybe in a week from now, that new thing will present itself, and you'll say, ah, that's why these things weren't working, so these new ideas could birth within me and set me forth on a completely new direction that I could have never seen if I was firmly implanted in this thing that I thought I needed. So it's a very rocky, very dynamic, very spirit fiery type of time. Again, abundant with the symptoms, abundant with everything. It's basically saying you got to let go. You got to yield to the divine force within you that always knows what's best for you. And it's always, there's always doing battle with your mind. Our, our minds are so conditioned to contract and label and box ourselves in. But that is not the nature of spirit and we're just becoming more and more and more and more and more of an embodiment of that dynamic, ever-flowing, eternal spirit that we ultimately are and the, the stress and whatnot, again, it's just a conflict between our conditioned self and our soul. So even con contrary to what you might think about what I just mentioned in this whole video, this is an incredibly powerful time we're in. Big transitions are ensuing. Big inner and, and re actual physical shifts are going down. And when the dust finally settles, you're gonna say, oh my God, I cannot believe how my life is becoming. It really is, in a sense, quite magical. Because it is. So anyway, guys, take that for what you will. That's just, I do these videos and I just kind of let come up whatever wants to, whatever whatever comes up. I, I write out the themes beforehand, but I just sort of say what is on my mind at the time. Again, take it for what you will. If you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments. Again, I've gotten away from doing these for quite a while for a few different reasons, but it felt right to do it today. And I would just appreciate your feedback. So thank you very much. I wish you all an amazing day. And I wish you all well on your path and your own ascension journey. So with that, I will close. Peace. Namaste.